What's up everybody? Main Fly Guys here with my last tutorial and this is a partridge soft tackle. And this is a fire hole 315 size 14. This is a really cool and I don't know, it's kind of a different um, soft tackle than normal. So here this is just some red floss. I'm just tying in some red floss. Of course, it goes great with my red shirt in the background. Not ideal. But anyways. Um, so from there, I'm going to tie that in. And don't worry, we'll cut it later. But I'm going to go to the back of this partridge and pull one of the back feathers out. It's um, I've got some long fibers. Really long fibers. Um, and on top of that... I'm going to just make a, separate the tip out a little bit. And on top of that red, I'm going to catch that. Come on, there we go. I'm going to catch that. And then just pull it up. But um, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to get a shoulder feather. Boom. And I'm going to look for one that's longer. I want like a longer one. If you look down the wing, kind of middle down in, in, in the wing, I guess not really the shoulder, there are much longer um, feathers that still have relatively short fibers. They kind of look like this. See, the fibers are still relatively short. And so what I'm going to do is strip all the fuzzies out. And you don't have to go with red, but I like red. For this pattern I don't know why it just seems to do well I'm gonna catch that and then I'm gonna try to do touching wraps all the way if I don't do touching wraps all the way it's not a huge deal what I'm gonna do now is really work these fibers back and then I'm gonna begin wrapping doing open wraps and just keep I don't know why but it works so it's essentially going to create this big sort of open nest and you know it doesn't really look like much to you but that's kind of kind of basically takes this shape right here, this sort of downward angled shape. And uh, I like it, it works well. So from here, tidy up a bit. We're gonna go back to the shoulder, except now we're gonna lead from the front edge of the shoulder. These are much shorter fibers. And I'm gonna take this fuzzy from the bottom and I'm going to, right here, if you want to tie in any flash or anything like that, now's your time. So I'm just going to make a little collar there. Boom. And then I'm going to do another hackle wrap. This is a really dense soft hackle. And, you know, you can address how it looks by the amount of soft tackle that you would like to use. I'm just going to keep this little tuft in. A lot of people cut this little piece here. I don't particularly care whether or not, let me lower this a little bit, I don't particularly care whether or not this stays in um, because it essentially gets covered up. So if you want to go in and trim it, feel free and then you can just cover up the ends, whatever. But I typically don't because it's an extra step that takes, you know, if I have to tie a hundred of these, then it's an extra step that takes an extra five to whatever, 10 seconds. Multiply that by 100 and you get yourself quite a bit. So anyway, so I'm going to come in and continue. The only colors I tie this fly in, come on, there we go, are red and yellow. I don't know why. I have never caught a fish with a green one. I'm sure that I could if I wanted to. I've never caught a fish on an orange one. Again, I'm sure that I could if I wanted to, but um, 
it just seems that I've always had success with red oops, and yellow. Come on. Not cooperating for me. There we go. So I call it like the tripler is what I call it because I used to use three um, hackle feathers on it. And once we can get everything tidied up here. There we go. Come back. Boom. Trim my... You'll see that... I, I don't know. It kind of looks like a woolly bugger, to be honest. Um, is what it reminds me of. And that's probably why it has had success. Is it just looks like this with a little red tag at the bottom and the body is red. So, you know, uh, it's just a... Um, I don't know. It's very buggy looking. It, it moves well in the water. And uh, I was just kind of fooling around and... Turns out it works, you know, that's kind of how it happens sometimes. So, um, this is one of those flies that I have no great explanation for why it works, but it uses partridge and it's a soft tackle and I love this hook with it. Um, and yeah, that's it, that's that pattern. So, when it gets in the water, just to give you a wet profile, it kind of looks something like this. And that's it, that's our last, it's kind of a big secret of mine, I almost don't want to share it with everyone, but. Um, that is our last fly in the Four Birds of Maine series. And I just want to say thank you for making it this far. This was way more work than I ever envisioned. <laughs> and, uh, but if you have any questions, please feel free to reach out and, uh, and let me know. So thank you everyone for watching. We'll see you next time.